I'm Julie McCann, one of the trainers with the Get You In Shape team, and I'm here to talk to you about setting goals. Setting goals is a very important part of your overall efforts towards achieving what you want to see in results, both in fitness and wellness. As part of our program, as a new client comes on, we really try to spend a little bit of time in talking about what your goals are. Not only is that going to help you understand what it's going to take to get to your fitness goals, but it'll also help us better understand how to work with you and motivate you to get to that point. So I'm going to go through a few tips today on setting goals as well as how to write goals. And at the end, I'm also going to talk to you about a new challenge we're going to introduce that will help you motivate you towards writing some goals. I've done a little bit of research on a great website um, from active.com that has all sorts of tips on it, but specifically uh, there was some great information on there that I provided in a written form attached to this tip about six things and tips that you can use towards understanding the importance of setting goals. The first thing, and more, most importantly, is to write it down. Put it somewhere where you're going to see it every day, something that's going to be a fresh reminder every time you wake up in the morning of what you got to accomplish that day or that week. So writing down is tip number one. Tip number two is make it short. And what I mean by short is focus on the short term. Specifically, I'm talking about your fitness goals. When you're talking about your financial goals, your career goals, you might want to go much longer out. But fitness goals, keep it short in terms of time frame and duration. That way you won't worry about a big chunk of thing you've got to achieve in six months or one year, you're looking at what do I got to do this week? What do I have to do this day towards my final goal? Tip number three, make it a destination. Uh, this is just a great idea, I think. It's just a uh, plan that your goal you want to achieve. Let's say it's you're doing your first 10K race. Plan it for some place that's fun and interesting. Take a trip with the family to Florida, run your race, and then enjoy a few days of vacation, a well-deserved vacation, I might add. Tip number four, this one I really like. Make it about something other than yourself. In other words, say you're doing this for a cause. For every pound you lose, you're going to donate X number of dollars to your favorite charity. So therefore, you're not only getting up every morning to try and achieve your goals for yourself, you're doing for something worthy and worth the time and effort. Tip number five, uh, remember that motivation is all in the mind. You need to get up every morning and be able to be motivated for a specific goal. And that's why I said, break it down into chunks. What do you need to do today that's gonna get you to the next day? Make it small so your motivation and your mindset is all in. Okay, last one, tip number six. This is about probably the most important one that's going to help you be the most successful, and that's finding yourself an accountability partner. Someone that you can go and meet every day for that walk or that run you need to get into. Somebody that's going to eat lunch with you and stick to healthy choices.